pam pam na 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 pa na 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 da da up super eagles come on you just have to say up super eagles <laughs> hey what are you doing sir are you not celebrating didn't you see that match nigeria and cameroon fantastic football from the get go this is what i call soccer not football in fact you know what call it both soccer Football, beautiful game, enjoy it. It had all the mix to make a good soup. Oh, what a soup it came out as. <laughs> Super Eagles won. It's a great victory. And I'm sure everybody's happy, especially in Nigeria. For the haters, good thing you hated. You got really made out to win. <laughs> what are we doing, sir? I just had to do this video because a lot of my friends were like, come on, are you not going to do a video and all of that? So I said, okay, let me join the bandwagon. I say you know, one thing or two about the game. Beautiful football. If you have missed it, not to worry. Just get into YouTube, watch the highlights at least. You might even be lucky to watch the full game to enjoy the bits of everything. All right? So, you know, I've been hearing like people are saying Cameroon did not bring their game. They did. They brought their game. They knew they were going to face Nigeria. Old foes. You know, it was a beautiful game. Nigeria came on as well to do their stuff and it was just brilliant. All right? From the keeper to, to the midfield, the defense, the midfield, the attack, everything was just gelling right. Didn't you guys notice that even the first goal, to me, that was a good goal. I don't care what you think. That was a good goal. I don't know why they even made it was offside. There was no offside at all. There was a defender right on, uh, uh, on the uh, on the uh, goal post. He was right there as the last man. And somebody was coming and saying that he's offside. How can that be offside? Anyway, some minutes later, just go for it. We scored another goal and awesome. I was just going to stop. Cameroon has bought their game, but we bought the counter. In the midfield, we made sure that if we got to a stage, we didn't even know what they were doing anymore. All right? So we were the one playing the game. And you know, I was also saying, I was telling the friend I was watching with, look, Cameroon is going to bring up the, the uh, what's his name, Vincent uh, Babubaka? But I'm saying he's not going to play anything. Because this Vincent guy is an elder now, all right? <laughs> Okay, and when was the last time he played top football? And number two, he's not the same Vincent that was at the last World Cup some couple of years ago. He's not young. He's not going to do anything. He cannot compare. I don't think you want to come and do Roger Miller part two. No, he's not going to be another Roger Miller. All right, so he came in and the game finished. The guy did not even touch the ball. How about that? So, <laughs> so a lot got to do with age and every other thing. People like Roger Miller, they you know they come once in a very long time. All right, everybody can be Roger Miller. This is not going to be 2.0. No way. Okay? And that was exactly what happened. By the way, we're talking about Roger Miller. He was right there. Guess what? Don't found it. When I, was, when I saw him, I'm like, yeah! Roger Miller, if you guys remember, this is a little bit back now, has cost us two, was it, I think, two, twice the time we wanted to qualify for the World Cup. That guy messed us up. Go and ask Henry Wilson. He will tell you. <laughs> for you younger guys, you might not understand the passion I'm going through right now. Because talking about that Roger Miller guy, he, I mean, he's one of the best footballers, you know, I, I agree, in African football. But hey, the guy showed us Pepe. When time reached for us to qualify, that guy just messes us up. So when this game happened today, I just like, this is for Roger Miller. Yeah, how about that? Take that. <laughs> yeah, and you know, Osime, oh my goodness. Yeah, it's, oh, it's my namesake. What do you expect, Victor? Come on now. Come on. That guy was everywhere in the field. Now, this is what I call team play. This guy, unlike the other games he's been playing, and he was trying to do the arrowhead or, you know, the main man, sometimes it doesn't work like that all the time. Teamwork. Teamwork makes you conquer. And that was what he did today. He was everywhere. He made the defense work. Even though he didn't score, he did more than that. He made the team win. How about that? Okay? He fought for the ball. He gave quality passes and goals came. You know, that is what is expected of a striker. Of his magnitude, he played so well. He finally got to his seat. He was a little bit tired. Why not? He's human. But he did his job. He did it so good. Very, very proud. Now, he will be. He will be. Now, we, we've been very critical about the will be. If Bolly Wobi brought his game today. Now, that was what we're talking. Come on now. And his uncle was there. His uncle or cousin, like JJ Okocha, was right on his time. Maybe he was giving me some pep talk. Yeah, you gotta step up. Okay? And like, he did step up. He came on out and he delivered. 
gave good passes and that was i mean the midfield they controlled the midfield because i knew there was going to be a lot of work in the midfield right there but nigerians were able to you know hold their own and make those passes go through fantastic not forgetting the keeper the number one keeper that got injured i hope he gets he could recover and come back because the isonzo guy what's his name that came ah okay we're not very very comfortable over that guy you know but uh hopefully the first guy will be fit again but he has really brought in a lot of attitude positive attitude you know confidence and he's he's so strong and big you know at the goalpost which also you know trickles down to all the players so when you have a good keeper confident keeper he gives you that extra bounce as a player and when you also now have right in front a, 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 a striker that i'm talking about the now that is also bringing that passion that energy in fact i got carried away too when it was coming and it was like yeah you saw me that when he did that i, I was like yeah that's what we're talking about you know he was able to bring that passion into the game team player ability and all the good kicks that he did and all that was fantastic brilliant football it lacks nothing there was did they drug by this time talking about did they drug but okay my man i like him but i heard that uh his code of our fans were all against nigeria it's okay everybody can like you you know but drug back came he was right there on the stands you know enjoying the game it was beautiful okay there was a coach and there was uh samuel Eto, yeah the president of the uh, Cameroonian football i wonder what he was expecting well maybe he, he, he was maybe he was sure that uh, you know Cameroon will not really go far what do you think <laughs> be that as it may you know, after the game they still looked at least to them they would think they really tried they didn't really like put their heads down but you know they, I, I guess they must have in their mind resolved that you know what Nigeria was just better too. there's no doubt about it because the way they looked I mean uh, I saw Song if you remember when Song and his team comprising of Eto as well when they came to Nigeria they, one of the like, last nation scholars three editions ago or four when we had the likes of Lisa, Okocha, and Kanu, you know, all those top players who were in the finals. And Cameroon, led by Rigobert Song, they sang beautifully. They won us. In our own soil, you can see Rigobert Song all coming out with passion. And Olisa started crying, and I'm like, man. Well, today, payback time. Payback. Song came trying to sing another song to beat up. No way. That's not going to happen. Nah. -uh. Okay. And uh, yes, this one is for Song, Rigobert Song, and Roger Miller. They were all there. And we, they paid the price for making Nigeria go through all that. Cameroon, Cameroon don't show us small look, okay? But there's nothing like this sweet, fresh victory. And today, that's exactly what Nigeria gave Nigerians and gave those that support Nigerians. Even the haters can take a chunk of that too. That. Okay, so fantastic football, beautiful game today. Everybody just excited. Whatever tensions has been going on in the, within Nigeria, at least temporarily, to go away as we just enjoy the game, enjoy the uh, the winning, the triumph, the success. Game just the start. Now we're going to the quarterfinal stage. You know, I didn't really want to do anything in the you know what are we doing self until the finals. Hopefully Nigeria gets there. You know, I would just you know have a summary and all of that. This was just exciting because it was the second round, first time you know in after all the group stage that Nigeria actually stepped up to play the way they are expected to so I just couldn't help everybody's happy that they stepped up and you know they and they showed up they showed off too for the game so it was fantastic it's beautiful everything was just perfect all right so kudos to the coach everybody was, he has been receiving a lot of uh, you know criticism and all that he had a game plan he executed it and it came on it came on strong and game plan worked successfully so beautiful to all the team i saw finiti george is part of you know that's a winning player right there so all of them will you know have was giving a good pep talk to the players that did what they had to do and eventually it all came out and it's all good we are going to be facing angola in uh, i think on friday for the quarterfinals angola they are much faster they're younger but faster they want to make a name all right there's no big boy thing or they you know they want to hustle and they've been hustling good from the get-go of the competition they've been doing good they've been playing fluid football and you know they they won't come easy so uh but again hey that's exactly what they'll be saying about the Nigerian team, that we're also fluid and all of that. So, hey, I think that's another lion, right? You have beaten one Cameroon uh, lion, another Angolan lion. You know what? The lion can only do nothing but up to look up and see the eagle fly, right? We're going to watch out for that. Maybe I'm going to do another quick video on that one, but for now, hey, 
enjoy. It's a weekend. We just won a beautiful game. We just won a bit a bad rival in Cameroon. Two goals to nothing in uh, Ivory Coast uh, Nations Cup, uh, AFCON 2023. Boom. There we go. The game just the start. Nigerian game, they stepped up. They stayed that way or even do better as they progress in the competition. What do you think about the game? Who was your best player? Who? What did Nigeria do right? Was is it is it, is it from the team or is it the coach that made them do it or is it the player that just said you know what we just have to do this we are pros we have to do this what do you think what are your views let me hear from you in the meanwhile hey do unto others what you want others to do unto you all right keep winning so we all win talk to you soon.